up guys? Be okay, now we're here. And I got a game of, uh, Team Deathmatch on Underpass here, which is, Underpass is an okay map, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. And I'm using the M21 with, uh, Sled Aim Pro, Stop and Power Pro, and Steady Aim Pro, which is not what I recommend on it, but I'll get to that later. And I got stuns and throwing knife on, which is also not really recommended, but what I do recommend is the M21 because it's a it's a great sniper rifle. Uh, it's not oh it's almost never a one shot kill unless you're shooting in the upper chest or head, but it doesn't stop. It has almost no recoil at all. It's literally almost nothing. So you, if you have a good trigger figure, you can just shoot as fast as you can uh, pull the trigger, and you get pretty easy kills and it's pretty forgiving so if you miss the first shot you're not in trouble which is commonly a problem with me because I got I don't have the greatest aim in the world but uh I got slight of hand stop and power and steady aim on with because uh this game someone was telling me that the M21 is really good and there's like 10 seconds left until the uh the lobby started so I just stuck this on my intervention class which you know is my quick scoping class pretty much so, and I didn't really know anything about this gun, so, I recommend it probably, uh, well, stopping power is unnecessary because of the way the damage multipliers are. It only helps with shots to the, like, lower chest or something, which is pretty unnecessary if you just, if you have a good trigger finger, you just shoot really fast. And it's just, uh, I'd recommend anything, I'd, lightweight's good, but sleight of hand, it just, I don't know, it feels good. No real reason, I don't know. Uh, cold blood is good for you know a little sneakiness, and then uh, hardline is also good if you want to get your kill streaks easier. Because if you go five seven eleven or five seven nine with hardline, it's insanely easy to get your uh, predator missile, which pretty much guarantees your your next two kill streaks. Uh, first perk you can use sleight of hand. It's it's still pretty good. You can scope in faster, and you run out of bullets pretty fast in this gun, so it's nice for reloading. We, uh, you also run out of ammo pretty fast too as you see I run out of ammo in the streak I get next uh... scavenger would help me out there again I'm about to run out of ammo right now scavenger would definitely help out there but you can also use one man army if you don't want a secondary because it's pretty good spraying um... pretty much any first perk I mean you know marathon's good too because it's a sniper rifle so it has a hundred percent uh... movement capabilities and you know whatever you want you know third perks it's no different than any sniper rifle in that respect you can put on a you know steady aim if you feel like although I wouldn't really recommend it I mean it's only good for spraying you know it's not like you're going to be doing any Zergras 720 triple no scope across the map wall bangs with this thing you know it's because you'll just get a hit marker and you'll probably cry so you just probably want to put on either ninja or oh, I hate to say it but commando for the no fall damage and the obvious overpowered knifing abilities. Ninja for the sneakiness and you can keep, you know, put that with cold boarded. Another thing I recommend with this is you can use, uh, you can use silencer with stopping power and it's exactly the same as, uh, no stopping power with no silencer. It does the exact same damage multipliers and everything. So if you, you know, feel like you're a little sneaky, you put on ninja and stopping power and it's pretty good. So anyway, I just want to, uh, I want to talk about the rest of the sniper rifles while I'm on this little tangent about the M21. Um, well, you know, the intervention in Vara, you guys obviously use, you know, everyone uses that. And they're, ex well, first of all, let me say, all sniper rifles have the same base damage. They all do 70 damage without silencer and 50 damage with silencer. And, uh, the only difference is they're multipliers. The, uh, intervention in Barrett do more damage to the stomach, chest, and neck, I think, than the, uh, M21 and the WA-2000. And, so, if you add stopping power to the, uh, Barrett and Intervention, it's a one-shot kill to anywhere but the legs, yeah, but the legs and arms, the extremities. But the, uh, you guys obviously know that. But, um, the M21 and WA-2000 are different. Uh, I'm not sure the exact stats on them because I don't have the page right on me. But I know that the M21 is a uh, very good uh, gun for not stopping power because it, uh, you know, it's very good, very accurate and very uh, good at spraying. So, you know, I just don't, I wouldn't recommend no stopping power and no uh, 
silencer because it uh you can't get a one shot to the head and that just bothers me and real quick wa2000 uh is very good if you either use stopping power no silencer or stopping power silencer or no silencer oh, can't silencer stopping power all right you got my point see you guys later